So this is hyperinflation. Not to, please do not uh, mistake in what hyperinflation is. This is hyperinflation. This is the one trillion dollar Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. A hundred trillion. Sorry, a hundred trillion dollars. Now you guys need to understand what's happening with this. So let me find that graph. I found a graph somewhere here. Here we go. Let's see if I could find something more. Uh, yeah, there used to be a graph. And this is it here. There's the starving billionaire. This guy's a billionaire. He is. On paper, he is. Just like these houses. Just like these houses that uh, right now, these houses, uh, it's all paper wealth. And that's exactly what's happening. So let's move on. Now, I, pick, I pulled this article out from, I think it's from today, actually. Yeah, it's from today. And it says, what would happen if the Federal Reserve doesn't raise interest rates? So this paragraph here is the key paragraph, guys, that you guys need to know. Again, the article is called, what would happen if the Federal Reserve doesn't raise interest rate? Okay. The reality is that the U.S. Federal Reserve may do greater harm to the economy by waiting longer to raise interest rates. That, that's it right there. The damage that's caused when interest rates do not go up. So we're going to cover the interest rate hikes in Australia, New Zealand, the UK, and uh, Canada, and the United States in this show uh, to get you guys uh, up to date on what's happening with rate hikes across the board. And uh, so I'm going to read this paragraph again. The reality is that the U.S. Federal Reserve may do greater harm to the economy by waiting longer to raise interest rates. I could say that till I'm blue in the face. Why? Its failure to, to, to hike rates would blow more air into the already overextended market bubble. That's exactly what's happening, guys. It is only a matter of time until the black swan event or a, or an unforeseen external force crashes the market. Maybe by rising interest rates, this would put a break on the speculation. This is really well written, guys. This is exactly what I want to say. This is this is it right here. And some sort of sense of reality would kick in. I am, of course, talking about some of the soft landings where the Dow Jones Industrial Average could start crushing downwards while the U.S. economy continues to coast upwards slowly yet on solid footing. This is the best case scenario. So this is a really, really well written uh, um, article here. This piece right here at the bottom, this last piece, the amount of damage that one does to one country when interest rates are at nothing or next to zero or next to nothing.